Welcome to the trending stream, everybody. Please, please subscribe if you haven't and click and hit that bell to get the latest video notifications. What are you waiting for? If you haven't hit the bell, if you're brand new here, check me out. What I do here is I talk about the top trending streams and I connect the dots for everybody. And uh, once again, another, another sad story to report on here today on the trending stream. You know, yesterday I did a video on Bob McGrath who was a part of the Sesame Street that passed away. So he died on Sunday, December 4th, right? And then today, now we're finding out Christy Alley, the actress better known for her movies and her shows, especially her one show, uh, Cheers, right? Is gone. If you don't know who Christy Alley is, let's read her bio real quick. Christy Lois Alley was an American actress. Her breakout role was Rebecca Howe uh, in the NBC sitcom Cheers, for which she received an Emmy Award and a Golden Globe in 1991. From 1997 to 2000, she starred in the sitcom Veronica's Closet, earning additional Emmy and Golden nominees. So there she is. And uh, let's read what happened here. Christy Alley is now dead at the age of 71. Cheer stars heartbroken children announced the fierce and loving actress has passed away after a short battle with cancer. Christy Alley has died following a battle with cancer, according to her family. We are sad to inform you that our incredible, fierce, and loving mother has passed away after a battle with cancer only recently discovered a tweet stated. Allie's children, Lily and William Chu Stevenson, shared the news in a statement posted to their late mother's social media page on Monday evening. Allie played manager Rebecca in Cheers, also starred alongside John Travolta on Look Who's Talking, amongst other roles. In recent years, she had been shunned by Hollywood after she endorsed Donald Trump in 2015, the last year she was seen on screen in movie. She received backlash from her Hollywood uh, you know, contemporaries, but doubled down and endorsed Trump. Wow, guys. And you know, the, that's the sad thing is, that's the system right you gotta you gotta promote what they want if not you get shunned uh actress here she is 71 following uh that cancer bout here's the family uh again christy alley on her social media here this is our twitter i guess to our friends far and wide around the world we are sad to inform you that our incredible fierce mother which i read she just they discovered cancer she was surrounded by her closest family and fought with great strength Leaving us with a certain, you know, a certainty or certainty that she has of her never-ending joy of living. So she was fighting whatever adventures lie ahead. As an iconic as she was on screen, she was an even more amazing mother and grandmother. We are grateful to uh, the incredible team of doctors and nurses at the Moffitt Cancer Center. For her care, our mother zest passion for life, her children, grandchildren, and many animals, not to mention her internal joy of creating an unparalleled and leaving us inspired to live a life to the fullest, just as she did. We thank you for your love and prayers and ask for you to respect our privacy at this time with love always, Shu and Little Parker. So anyway, guys, very sad. I grew up with the movies. Actually, it's weird. I just seen a, I was watching like some 80s commercials or whatever, and they showed the beginning of Cheers, uh, where everybody knows your name, the song. And I go, you know, I remember as a kid, I go, I didn't, you know, I was watching this like 12, 14 years old. And I'm like, um, yeah, Isabella, she died. She's dead. She uh, died of cancer. Uh, at the age of uh, 71, she passed away just right now, really. This is breaking news as I'm recording this. 
But anyway, I remember like in the 80s, because it was, uh, you know, from, you know, she joined the cast in 1987, but it was like, I think it started like in 82, 83, whatever, the show. And I was like, uh, I don't know if I liked the show. I thought the show kind of sucked. But, you know, again, I wasn't a grown up, and I guess it was about bars, and it, it, it was a big show, right? A long, long played show. And uh, there she is in Veronica's closet. I didn't watch that. And, you know, she also had a lot of, uh, you know, she had a lot of weight gain, you know, in the early 2000s, in the 90s. They would rip on her, and, you know, she gained the weight. But again, just showing you how Hollywood is cruel and stuff like that. I guess she was in the mass Singer and stuff like that, which, again, is all part of the system, guys. It is what it is. I, I, I got to keep it real, right? When you're in Hollywood, you got to sell. I guess she did Star Trek. I didn't know that. Star Trek 2, she was in the Wrath of Khan. Another uh, system, whatever. Again, you're not going to get the big movies and stuff unless you, you're part of it. But I guess, you know, she was um, a Republican, right? At the end, and she, she wanted to, to do, you know, conservative and, uh, you know, that's when they, they blacklist her in some sense. And now she dies of cancer. Very sad. There she is, retrospecting again. And look who's talking. It's two pre-sequels. Uh, two sequels. Uh, there they go. So anyway, hey, it is what it is. Uh, also, Ellie, who became a member of the Church of Scientology in 1979, had been living semi-permanently in Clearwater. So, guys, she was in that cult. That's right. Uh, you know, whatever. She had waterfront property in 2018. She participated in the 22nd UK cele Celebrity Big Brother. All these things. So guys, man, just a loss. So very sad. You know, where is she now? You know, one thing there's, uh, you know, look who's talking. I, I remember that movie. That was kind of funny back in the 80s and stuff. But, um, you know, you know, she was ostracized and all these things. So anyway... I'm voting for Rilla. It's not politician. I vote for him four years. There's a reason she'll vote for him. Again, the reason he gets things done quickly, turn around the economy. So she liked Trump. I, again, I don't know what she was all involved with. Of course, she was connected to Scientology, guys. And that is bad news. Hubbard, or uh, the guy who invented it, was uh, a part of the system, right? It's a cult. It is what it is. Very sad. So anyway... There you go. And, you know, this year uh, has been really jacked up with celebrities dying. I, again, like I said, I just did a video yesterday. This guy was old. Uh, Bob McGrath, again, uh, Sesame Street, all of these things here. We know that. Uh, one of the biggest ones a week or two ago was Jason Frank, the Power Ranger guy. He died. Um, there's more information about him and his wife and she had, she looked like she's, she had dark energies. I, I'm not feeling it, dude. I'm not feeling it. Um, she, she explained, uh, how he died. There were more information. Uh, again, uh, she recalls, I'll read you a little bit of this. Tammy recalls what happened the evening of November 19th, shortly after, uh, reconciling our relationship. So, they were going to get a divorce, and they got back together. We initially planned to separate. That part is true, she says. However, that is the only part of the story. The part that hasn't been told is that the time of his passing, we had called off our separation, and we were in the process of reuniting. She notes, don't get me wrong. We had our ups and downs, many troubles during our 19-year marriage. But this was an exceptionally hard year for us. Now, again, he was found, and I reported on it. They went to a hotel. Uh, he, uh, you know, they got in a fight. They, this is what TMZ said in the news and all this. They got in a fight. Uh, they had to separate them, people from the hotel. He went into his own room. Uh, then he ended. Then she got worried. She tried. They they started arguing again. He locked her out of his room and then ended up dead. But now she's saying this story here. Probably trying to do a little bit of damage control. And she said this. A year ago, my daughter Shayla, whom Jason helped me raise as his own. So that was his stepdaughter. 
uh, suddenly passed away. Jason had been the one to find her when it happened, and the situation wrecked our family emotionally. So that's sad in itself. So you had a stepdaughter. She shares between losing her and helping raise her baby son. So her daughter had a kid, right? Ended up dying. Now, we don't know how, right? I, I can look that up or whatever. Maybe drugs. I don't know. Um, but Jason found her. So that in itself is, is, you know, really hard. That was his daughter, stepdaughter, finding her dead. She shares between losing and then they had to raise the baby son. Jason and I started having marital issues after the daughter died. For anyone who has known the pain of losing a child, I know you understand how much a loss changes things in your marriage. Tammy says she and Jason decided to separate at the time, not knowing what else to do. However, about six weeks ago, they decided to rekindle their romance after a close friend helped us realize that we still loved each other and we should not give up just yet. So a friend goes, hey, you guys should still hook up. Still, the pair knew they needed to take it slow and work any issues. As a part of their plan to reconnect, Jason planned a two-night getaway in which the two attended a country dancing event, something Tammy says Jason knew she loved to do. Power Rangers again. So despite their together, Tammy notes that the two hotel rooms, they got the getaway because that's just how we do things. Simply put, her husband snored. So Jason snored. They got two rooms, right? She also admit they received a noise complaint from hotel guests that night, but clarifies it was us enjoying the weekend. All right, here it is. Us enjoying the weekend and having some fun, not arguing or fighting. Now, this guys, I don't, I, I'm not buying this. I'm not buying that part. Okay, they had problems. Okay, bottom line, and, and that was not reported in whatever. Right. So anyway, they, she says again, this is her story. Now Jason's dead. He can't say anything. He said we danced and stayed out at the evening until the bar closed. When we got back to the hotel, Jason and I were having a heartfelt and emotional talk in his room. She recalls, to help Jason relax and sober up before turning down to sleep, I went downstairs to get us snacks in the lobby. I must have been gone for more than just 10 minutes. I went back up the stairs and began knocking on the door to no answer. I knocked repeatedly and kept calling for his name to open the door. I don't know if the hotel staff or guests called the police, but after I was taken downstairs by the police, they were able to open the door, found Jason that took his life. She continued, there were the disturbances that has been brought up by numerous times online. Concluding her statement, Tammy asked the people to stop making assumptions and leave my family to grieve peacefully. All I want to is to remember and our happiest memories and move forward from the pain losing a loved one. I only ask for sympathy and understanding during these difficult times, she says. To all the fans who support Jason and so forth and so on. So that is the story. But again, the reports, and I, I've done quite a few, they were arguing. That was not nothing. This was straight up from the horse's mouth. He locked the door from her. She wants to still fight or talk. He's like, no, leave me the hell alone, whatever. Supposedly again, she went back to her room. She got nervous early in the morning, like 5 a.m. She came back again and knocked on the door. That's when they called the police or whatever. And he ended up killing himself. So again, I don't know. You let me know. But I want to, you know, again, give you the, the breakdown of that. Many celebrities are dying, guys. I don't remember a year of so many celebrities dying. Just recently, I don't know these people anyway. Brad Williams, uh, I guess he was in Orange is the New Black, that TV show. He passed away uh, actually a day or two ago. Uh, the, the death is still unknown. So this guy died, if you know him. Uh, Christine McVeigh, which is part of Fleetwood Mac. She, she died, right? Of a short illness. A musician died after battling a short illness. Hmm, that's interesting. J J Jake Flint, a country music singer in Oklahoma, died November, mere hours after getting married with his wife. 
Brenda, he was only 37 years old. Again, young people, right? What's going on here? I talked about Irene Cara or whatever, the, 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 the fame lady. She ended up dying again. Unknown causes. She was only 63. Fame and all these things. Uh, all there. Um, we got Nikki X Cox or whatever. I don't know. She's the supernatural actress. She was only 47, right? Official cause of death has not been shared. She, but they said she was battling leukemia. So that's what got her. Of course, Jason Frank uh, took his life, hung himself in a, a bathroom after whatever with his uh, wife. We have Aaron Carter, December uh, or November 5th. Of course, he himself, they found that, right? No one knows again how he died. He was in a bathtub. And guys, when I say these stories, again, it seems like right at the end of the year, this is when a lot of these celebrities start passing away. Or, you know, you have George Michaels, and he died on Christmas Eve. And guys, there's something happening, right? Takeoff, uh, again, the rapper, Migos rapper, I talked about that. They actually caught the guy who took him out. They said it was an accident, right? He was gone. Leslie Jordan, he was a comedian. Zuri Craig, right? Another, uh, again, musician. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's like every other week. You know, they always say they die in threes and all these things. Uh, but man, they're dying every other week. Angela Lansbury, we know that, October, so, I mean, the list goes on and on, and I, I try to give you guys, Coolio died, I did that video, he's gone, okay, so, I mean, the Queen of England, right, all this stuff, right, I mean, we, the list goes on and on and on, and, and really, it, it's been a, a, a jacked up year for these celebrities, so anyway, folks, at the end of the day, we have to grasp life. Um, we never know uh, when our last breath will take again. Uh, the Bible says in Proverbs 27, 1, Don't brag about tomorrow, since you don't know what the day will bring. No man is promised tomorrow, right? We know that, again, but the, the Most High and, and the Messiah, the Savior, said, and the Bible says, John eleven twenty five 25 through 26, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life, the one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? And guys, that's at the end of the day. We can go through the stories, people battling their demons. And, 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 and you know, some young, some old. I get it. But man, it, it, it's time to truly appreciate what's going on now. And that's the bottom line if you're feeling depressed. Guys... It, you know, give it to the Lord, really, really give it to God. I know this is hard times. We're going to get into more hard times, guys, the recessions and all these things. I know, I understand. And we really, really need to give it to the most high, guys. So there you go. That's been today's Mega Monday show. Yes. Love that, Donovan. Always pray to Jesus to find that comfort, that you can find the comforter. The Bible says, what is the great comforter? The great comforter is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And you can get that by give, getting to him, getting one with God Almighty. So there you go, breaking this down. Uh, again, Christy Alley, uh, Scientology, uh, no bueno. But, you know, I pray that she found God. I don't know. Again, nobody knows. Uh, but now she's gone at the age of 71 years old. Again, so many celebrities have been gone. Let's get to Christ. Let's get to God. Let's get one. Again, you do, the, you do your research. I have to say those things. But when you do your research, you will find that. The truth, the way, and the life of the Messiah. Um, yeah, Jacqueline says, this is why it's so important to get right with Christ and stay closer. You're right. You know, and there's a lot of people go, oh, yeah, I believe in God, whatever, I'll sin, whatever, I'll do that. Maybe it will lay when I'm old, like all the old people, they start believing in God or whatever, right? When no man is promised tomorrow, guys, got to get to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Feel the Holy Spirit. I pray that everyone has a true, truly, truly a pre personal relationship with the Messiah and closer to God always, as I always say, and that you are blessed immensely. Time to get right with the Lord, always. Get your spiritual house in order. 
Thanks, everybody, for coming aboard. Isabella says, and blessing everyone. Donovan, God bless everyone. Stay safe and healthy. Amen. Jacqueline, again, God bless your sister. Obtain three woke. Amen. So many of you guys, thank you guys so much for coming aboard here on the Mega Monday show. Really don't like doing these shows of passings, but guys, people, um, you know, people want to know this stuff and these videos do get some hits and I pray that someone watches these videos and they go, yeah, life's too short. It's time to get closer to God. Stay prayed up always. Stay prepped up, right? Amen. And that's what this is all about. Amen. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming aboard. Much love. I'll see you in the next exciting edition of the Trending Stream, a.k.a. The Truth Never Sleeps. Um, again, I will be doing sporadic videos here for everybody on my shorts. And uh, again, Lord willing, I'll do a fantastic Friday show again. Thank you so much. Much, much love here on the Trending Stream. Thank you for the support, love, prayers, the patrons that still support the channel. If you feel led to give, guys, that helps me pay the internet to keep these shows running. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you again. Yes, Jacqueline, been with you since 2016. Wow, awesome. <clears throat> That's a blessing, and thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Many of you guys have been with me, and I just feel so blessed and honored that I can still continue doing these videos. Of course, you know, they took me down, but I'm still going strong no matter what. Hallelujah, and I give all the glory to the Most High. Thanks again, guys. Much, much love. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Be safe. Stay prayed up and always uh, prepped up with the Most High. Bye-bye. Much love.